Hi there, my name's Mike Bynan and along with my wife Jill, I'm the proprietor of Corang Estate. Um, we bottled our first vintage this year and today I'm here to review our first two wines. Uh, we're very pleased with them. Uh, we have a 2017 Tumbarumba Chardonnay and a 2017 Hilltops Tempranillo. Now, the wines have been growing and changing since they were bottled and uh, they're really starting to develop into uh, um, the lovely products that we had hoped that they would become. So I'm going to start with uh, the Chardonnay today. First of all, this Chardonnay comes from Tumbarumba. Tumbarumba is one of Australia's highest and coolest vineyards and it's earned a fine reputation for producing really elegant, long finishing and complex Chardonnay. A lot of Australia's very finest Chardonnays come from the Tumbarumba district and we were very keen to source fruit from there ourselves. In keeping with the Tumbarumba style, this wine is very elegant. It's citrusy, it's long finishing, it has a strong undercurrent of um, nice firm acidity. Uh, in addition to that, we've added a bit of winemaking complexity with some, uh, by barrel fermenting a portion of it and by uh, uh, adding some malolactic fermentation to it as well, which has happened help to both soften and complex the wine. So I'm going to smell and taste the wine and, uh, and talk you through it. So on the nose, it's that classic Tumbarumba Chardonnay, beautiful, bright citrus and melon fruit. But sitting in the background is a very, is a, is a gentle or subtle amount of um, smoky oak and, um, and a bit of toast and a bit of honey. And they're very, very attractive characters on the nose. When I taste the wine, the aromas that I've picked up on the nose flow through to your palate. It's long finishing, it's elegant, but it's got a lot of flavor. It's crisp and citrusy. And again, that touch of oak and smoke and honey comes through and follows on the palate. It's extremely long, uh, it's complex, and uh, we really are very pleased with the way the wine's turned out. It's everything that we'd hoped and more, and I hope you'll enjoy it as much as we have. Next, I'm gonna move on to the Tempranillo. So, this Tempranillo was from the Hilltops region of New South Wales. Uh, Hilltops, along with uh, Tumbarumba, Canberra, and indeed where our vineyard is planted, Corring Estate, is all part of the Southern Tablelands region. It's all cool climate. It's all about 600 metres above sea level, there or thereabouts. And it's, these regions are all capable of producing extremely fine wine. And that's proven by the amount of awards and accolades, uh, medals, show awards, great reviews that wines from the region are receiving in recent years. This Tempranillo is from 2017. 2017 was a, a, a fairly typical year in the Hilltops region. Uh, it was not an especially hot year. It was not an especially cool year. It, it's quite elegant. The wine is medium bodied, but it's a textbook example of fine, cool climate uh, Tempranillo from a good year. So, when I smell the wine, it has a lovely, bright, raspberry fruit character that literally leaps out of the glass. It's really very attractive, charming actually, fruity, uh, aromatic, lovely. In addition to that raspberry fruit, there's an undercurrent, a savoury undercurrent of licorice and leather, a complex in character. When I taste the wine, Again, on the palate, you get that lovely raspberry, blueberry fruit. It's extremely intense and vivid. The wine's medium bodied and elegant, but it's got a lot of flavor. It's got lovely fresh acidity, which talks to that cool or, cool or average year out of 2017. 
It's got that lovely savoury note that runs underneath it. It's got some nice tannic structure and it's very long finishing. Very drinkable, full of flavour, but in a medium bodied package. A great food wine, very European in style and perfect with, um, with a light chill on it, even perhaps on a hot day. Barbecues, pizza, that type of thing. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, it's, we're very pleased with it. Uh, it's just as we'd hoped it would be. And um, I hope you enjoy it just as we do. That concludes our review of, uh, of our first release wines for Corring Estate. Um, I've been, we're thrilled to be able to bring these wines to you. We'll be adding more wines along the way and indeed we'll circle back and do more video reviews of them for you. Thanks and enjoy your day.